Hey, all right, video 172. Um, I'm not the type of person that can care about things like just a medium amount. I either, <laughs> I either care like a whole lot, like a whole lot, or I care like not at all. I don't really have a ability to kind of modulate how much I care about things or people for that matter. Um, I think I'm prone to like having really intense like feelings, I guess. Um, I don't know how to describe it, but like not not to the point where it's like clinical, you know, like just emotional instability or like extremes, you know, like, um, but just feeling like, like feeling so much that I don't want to feel any <coughs> anymore. <coughs> Sorry. I think that's why I was, you know, in adolescence, you know, good at, you know, taking drugs and you know, later drinking, you know, I think there's a lot of people that, you know, experience like uh, addiction or um, substance abuse disorder. Yeah, at the root cause is they're trying to change how they feel, you know, and when I got sober too, it's like I had this, all these feelings come rush back, you know, and it's like I had to figure out how to get back to like an even keel. Um, and so like now, like, you know, I've been t sober 12 years, over 12 years, 12 and a half, um, you know, I take medication, I've talked about it before, uh, for depression and anxiety. And so I, I think I'm pretty even now. I mean, it's just like, it's not something I really think about a lot. Um, but days like today, like, I feel very intensely, and I wish I didn't, but um, yeah, I, I don't know if you know, but I teach a um, class twice a week for adults with uh, Parkinson's disease, and most likely they're, you know, older, you know, because it's, you know, the common onset is like 60s, 70s. Um, so I teach a class, you know, um, exercise, and um, you know, it's a boxing-based regimen, but it's not like contact you know just kind of exercise and you know a lot of it's really good um but the thing about parkinson's is like it's it's um progressive and it's not um terminal i guess it's terminal i mean it's like there's no reversing it there's no curing it it's not going to get better um so but the thinking is like kind of slow it down you know like exercise there's a lot of different types of approaches um this is one of them so i mean so the people i deal with are you know kind of later in life and um, I've been doing it now about five years, so I guess after a while, it's only you know a matter of time before someone that started off with you is no longer there um, or really downhill. And so I've had you know we had some news today that um, a couple of my I guess t students boxers we call them um, that really really took a turn, not coming back, um, and one had like a spouse that was their primary caregiver that like died within like a couple weeks of being like diagnosed with term uh, stage four pancreatic cancer. Like two weeks later, she was gone. Um, and it's just really sad and it's, um, I don't know. I, I mean, when I, when I teach people, or work with people, you know, especially like over a period of a couple of years, several years, um, it's hard not to be emotionally invested. You know, I think that's what makes me good at what I do is that I'm able to emotionally invest or make people feel that, you know, I, well, because it's true. I'm emotionally invested in their well-being or in their improvement or whatever the case may be. But the flip side of that is, you know, I don't, I, 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 it's kind of a strange feeling, you know. There's nothing I can do about it. And, this, and the other, I mean, the alternative is, is like, just don't care at all, but I can't do that. So I got to learn how to manage, uh, I guess they call it like compassion fatigue. I don't have that yet. I don't think, but it's just, just a heavy feeling. Um, I don't know. Yeah, I'm not, I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm spiritual, like I'm not like, I don't want to say religious, but I, you know, I, I think there's forces out there and, you know, I don't know. Actually, I don't really know. I've talked about it before. <laughs> it's just, it's kind of undefinable how I feel about things or what I, how I view the world, but it's just really sad. You know, and then there's, you know, people that I work with now, you know, in that class um, that I can tell a big difference from when they started because it was like several years ago. You know, it's only so much you can do to like slow down the progression. Um, and it's, you know, sad. Um, but uh, I have to keep going. So anyway. I don't know. I don't think this video is any good for anybody. I'm just 
maybe get this off my chest because I think that's, the, that's that's a good way to deal with things, like talk about it. <laughs> and, you know, true to, true to form for me, you know, I'm talking about it, but like not to anybody. <laughs> I'm talking like one way into a camera. Um, but it's still talking about it, I guess. Um, so anyway, that's my that's my video today. Um, yeah. That is, you know, kind of random and chaotic how the universe and people's lives, you know, end up or the paths they take sometimes. So, anyway, um, if you're watching this, you know, take care of yourself. Um, thanks for watching. Uh, we'll, we'll we'll talk tomorrow. You know, uh, I'll take care of myself too. You take care of yourself. All right.